What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be changing the interior just a little bit. This is just kind of for me to get an idea on what I want for the interior of the, of the car. Instead of actually going out and spending a lot more money and not knowing exactly what I want, I'd rather do it a little bit on the cheaper side, do this first, and then kind of see where I go from there, where my, because my ideas do happen to change. So I just want to do this first. So, I just want to give you guys a quick look of the interior. So I have the common uh, interior trim that the M Sports have. I already took the door handles off because I was going to be working on those. Everything's pretty basic. Nothing's really done to the interior. I just have a car fiber door handle. I mean, e-brake handle. And then the door, the carbon fiber style inserts right here. Eventually I would like to get these in real carbon fiber or I might do something else, but I'm not going to tell you guys what everything's going to be in the future yet, so that's for you guys to find out in the future. Um, if you're interested in seeing the interior evolve, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. And uh, But yeah, so the plans for this video are going to be changing up the trim, the iDrive console. I'll probably, probably look into the shifter handle and the steering wheel trim. So yeah guys. Uh, let me just show you guys a before, before we actually start getting on the uh, after. Alright guys, so here's the final outcome. As you guys can see, I went with the gloss black on the trim, which I thought it was going to be pretty cool because of the, the actual trim, the original trim had a texture to it. And up close, you can see it a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera. Oh, there you go. Um, but yeah, I think it, it adds a little cool effect, thing, but some people might think that it's kind of like orange peel, but I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so I wanted to add something else that was yellow inside the car just so I wouldn't have a random yellow uh, push start button. And I think this these two go pretty well together. I know we are used to seeing the red and the blue and the black um, on the M Sports. And then on the regular base, we actually happen to see just silver. So it's, it's a small touch. Um, I don't think it's overdoing it. Here's a better view of it. So I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I mean, you guys are more than welcome to leave your opinion down below. And then for the iDrive, I ended up doing a carbon fiber material, the dry carbon. If anybody's interested in this material, I'll leave a link in the description below. But I rushed this whenever I was doing it because I was doing it the day before the show, actually technically the night before the show. And it was getting late and I knew I had to get up um, you know early in the morning so technically i only had four hours of sleep before going to the show and yeah so i ended up going to the show i didn't film all this i didn't get to but it's the day after well a few days after the show and i just figured i'd kind of go ahead and get some footage to show you guys how the uh, trim turned out I, obviously i have to go back and redo this um i rushed putting the door handle back so it's not perfect um, I'm not trying to make it seem like it's perfect, but you know, I'm just pointing out the flaws. This one I actually had somebody else do it for me. I did this one myself because I had some gloss black vinyl, but a lot of my vinyl had some damage on it and it was beyond repair. So I had to get somebody else to do this for me last minute and they did a good job on it. I'm pretty pleased with it, but you know, this one, this one came out good too. It's just, it's a small piece. But yeah guys, uh, here's another look of it. So let me know what you guys think of the trim. Uh, I know this is just some small changes, nothing major to the interior like I had mentioned before. But this is only the beginning. Um, I'm not going to be doing that much mods for the, uh, the rest of the year. So I, I might do little things here and there. But nothing big, I think. 
unless things change we never know um if things work out if i'm able to work something out in the future then we'll keep on with the mods but otherwise i'm gonna slow it down a little bit for the uh, the end of the year and um yeah so that's gonna do it for today's video guys um sorry i didn't really show you guys sorry that I, I didn't really show you guys a tutorial but if anybody's interested keys motorsports does have a tutorial on how to wrap your interior vinyl i mean your interior with vinyl um but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one